If you want to achieve this effect on mobile, then you are at the right place. This process will only take two steps. Step number one will be the background distortion, and step number two will involve the chromatic effect. First, duplicate your video and mask your subject, so that the subject and the background can be edited separately. Now select your background and add the effect called tiles. Select it and press standard settings. Then press on the mirror option. Now you will need to add a new effect called Fractal War. Select it and press standard settings. Now you will have to click on magnitude and put a keyframe of it at the beginning of your video. This will be where the distortion will start. Now put another keyframe where you want the distortion to end. You will therefore need to put the last keyframe's value at zero. And for the first keyframe you will put the value at 1.055. Now select the screen space option and then put the octaves at value at 3. And make sure you use graphs for the magnitude option for smoother results. Now select the position option and put their keyframes at the same places as the magnitude's keyframes. On the last keyframes you will need to select the Y button and scroll its value all the way up to 1985. And do not forget to put a graph between the position's keyframes for smoother results. Step 1 is now completed, now it's time for the second step which will involve the chromatic effect. You will now duplicate the background we just edited. Now, select the duplicated layer and add a Gaussian blur effect. Select standard settings, now put the blur value at 300. Now, add the effect called Amino Glass. You will need to select the chromatic bubble preset, it's important for the effect. Now select chromatic aberration and put a keyframe at the start of your clip, and do the same for feature size. Now click on refraction and put the value at 66.8. Now select chromatic aberration, then put the value of the first keyframe at minus 14.7. Now select Feature Size and put the first keyframe's value at 170. Now we will need to add a second keyframe for the Feature Size option. We will need to put it at the same place where the distortion effect we did earlier ends. Now put the value of the second keyframe at 5. Now just put a graph between the keyframes and here's the effect. Subscribe and follow my social medias for more tutorials.